All right. Well, good afternoon, everyone. This is Scott Thompson, Senior Manager with Schwab Coaching. We're going to go over the intrinsic value calculator today. Uh, before we start, remind everyone the presentation is for educational purposes only, not a recommendation of any particular investment or investment strategy. This particular tool is not guaranteed for accuracy. Uh, all investing involves risk. And remember to, uh, you know, when you're, time, you're investing, past performance does not guarantee future results. Let's go over here and show you on the uh, Schwab page. After you log in on Schwab, go to the Learn page, click on Courses, and the second course down here is Stock Investing with Fundamental Analysis. This is where the tool is found. So click that, scroll down to the bottom under Resources, and you can download the Intrinsic Value Calculator. And when you download the calculator, this is what it looks like. So it has uh, a lot of boxes to fill in. Uh, again, remind everyone this is just a tool. Uh, the margin of safety that this tool kicks out is, is just going to be a comparison to the intrinsic value that the calculator uses. Um, that does not guarantee that it's a low or anything like that. And most of the information that you'll need is on the Schwab.com research page. And we'll go through this together and fill this out. I thought what we would do today is go over Coca-Cola. So we're going to set that symbol in here to start off, KO, and we're going to need earnings per share growth rate, we're going to need the sector PE ratio, we're going to need the stocks beta, the expected market return, the 10-year treasury index number, uh, the stock price, the stock earnings per share, and the projected growth. And so let's go from the top to bottom. Uh, we need the earnings per share growth rate. Now where can you find that? Really easy to find if you go to the Schwab Dot com website up here at the top you're going to click on research and then stocks and this will bring up the page where we can actually do a lot of different things but what we want to do right now is go to stock compare this has the information that we need for the calculator so click stock compare and you can type in the symbol here uh, if you I had it in there already but uh, KO and then as you scroll down You'll see a little graph. You have a summary page, fundamentals, uh, valuation. Here's an earnings per share. We're going to need this number in the future. But the one we're looking for right now is down a little farther. Earnings per share growth rate, 3.54. So let's go to the calculator and put that number in. 3.54. And then we need the sector PE. Well, that's on the same place that we just got that information. So we'll go back, scroll back up to the top of the page. And where it says index comparison, this will load in the sector that Coca-Cola is in, which is consumer staples. And we need this number just right here at the top, 28.51. Let's put that number in the calculator for the sector PE ratio, 28.51. And what this calculator does is it's trying to give us a little bit more conservative forecast on the value or intrinsic, intrinsic value of the stock. And so Depending on the number we put in the box, it will reduce those numbers. If it's a small number, it doesn't reduce it by much uh, or at all. If it's a bigger number like it is in the sector PE ratio here, it's going to discount that by about 15%. And it's going to be using this number over here, the 24.2 for the calculation. The next section here, we need the stock to beta. We need the expected market return and we need the 10-year treasury index. So let's go look at those. Now we have to go to a couple different places to find this information. To get the stocks beta, we want to go to the stock summary page. And the easiest way to do that is to go up here where it says uh, enter symbol and just type in KO, hit enter. And this will bring up the Coca-Cola summary page. A lot of great information here. What we want is the beta all the way down here at the very bottom. And it's 0.44. It basically tells us how you know, closely this stock follows the S&P 500 based on kind of volatility. So Coca-Cola with a lower than one beta is less volatile than the S&P 500 would be. Let's go put that number in our calculator. And we have 0.44. The expected market return over here on the instructions, if you go to the Learn Story Schwab's Long-Term Capital Market Expectations page, they'll get the number there. Now, this is a fairly conservative number, but let me show you where to find that. So up here, we have Schwab's long-term capital market expectations. You scroll down a little bit here, 
and expected returns over the 10 years. Now, this is an annualized rate kind of over the next 10 years. Again, 6% for large cap equities. That's the number that we want to use for the calculator. Let's go plug that number in. So 6.0. The 10-year Treasury index is uh, on that compare page again, but we want to go to the U.S. markets research page. Again, the instructions are over here on the right. But if we go to schwab.com, go back to our research page, and you want to click on research U.S. markets, and that will bring up this indices page. And you scroll down just a little bit and click on show more. This will bring up a lot of information about those indices. And we scroll down here toward the bottom and we get 10-year Treasury Index 43.32. And this is the number that we're going to put in our calculator, 43.32. The last part of this is pretty easy. We need to get the stock price, the stock earnings per share, and we're going to use two years of projected growth. You could use a bigger number here. We like to go two years just because any farther out and it starts getting a little suspect whether we're going to maintain all the other numbers that we placed in there. So generally for this calculator, we like to use two. Let's go back to the Schwab page and see what our stock is trading for. Again, where do we find that? We can type in the symbol Coca-Cola. And right now we're at 69.43. Let's plug that number into the calculator. And then we need the stock earnings per share. And how do we find that? Again, that's on that very first page that we looked at. We can go to the research tools, stock compare, Coca-Cola. And if we scroll down, oops, got to go to the comparison page here. Scroll down and it's right here. Earnings per share, or we did that one. We need the PE ratio. Yeah, right. Is it 28.56? Oh, sorry, stock earnings per share. I was right, 2.5. And we hit enter. And right now, this particular stock's trading at a bit of a premium. That's what a negative margin of safety means, is that we're above that intrinsic value. Now, how do we use this? Really, all we need to know is that this stock is trading at a bit of a premium. Um, it's not trading at a discount relative that, to that intrinsic value. Value investors typically look for stocks that have a positive margin of safety, usually in the 25% or higher range. For stocks that are more in a growth mode or that maybe have been trending up a little bit, which Coca-Cola actually has not been trending up um, recently, but it's, this is apparently trading at a bit of a premium. And so investors might use this to help them determine, you know, between a stock that is maybe giving them a buy signal based on their particular rules it's like, well, I'm going to choose one that's maybe closer to that intrinsic value uh, before they purchase it. So hopefully that's helpful for you uh, today to go through that. Again, you know, the interpretation of that particular tool has a lot of varieties to it. Uh, if you want some additional information, we have some other webcasts that you can go. Uh, Brent Moore's taught one that goes into more depth on that calculator, and uh, that will be in the description.